I'm going rogue. I'm starting without a vac. He's sitting in team speak, getting his stuff set up, and I'm gonna look at the coal line and stare at it. I don't know what else am I gonna do. Uh, wow, yeah, it really does look like. Oh, right, because we're still reliant on the really, really slow lines here. Oh, why does it say I'm playing outward? It didn't say I, I'm playing outward. I have fixed it. I'm sorry. Thank you, Azrath. Yeah, this isn't this isn't outward. It shouldn't be. I must have screwed up or something. I'm I'm not entirely sure. Ooh, almost out of hard drive space. I should fix that. That's 200 gigs to free up right there. Yeah, thank you, Azrath. Okay. As you can tell, I'm totally prepared for today. I didn't even bring my friends. Uh, let's see. So obviously, for those of you watching on YouTube. And those of you expecting, where's the vac? He'll be here whenever he gets here. I don't know. He's, I think he's eating food. I'm not gonna like rush the guy or anything. Like that. Yep. yep. Okay, that should be some amount of extra. Ah, uh, OBS has really been using my CPU a little bit more than usual. Let's see. We, I'm just gonna turn things down today. We have more people joining me. I want that extra stability if I can get it. Yeah, that that feels a bit better. Maybe. No, it feels about the same, and it looks significantly worse. I, something to do with my settings? Did it anything? I did? I didn't. Huh. I don't know. I... Whatever whatever it is, I can't change it at this point. So let's just turn everything back up to medium. I guess the environments are still just gonna look kinda, kinda crummy no matter what I do. Oh, that view distance. Okay, we gotta turn that back up a bit. That's that's better. We'll still see some pop in, but we're gonna see that pop in kind of no matter what I do, honestly. Okay, so we wanted to make conveyor belt. Oh right, it crashed, didn't it? It crashed right before this. I had forgotten. Oh, I guess it's a good. Good as good of a time as any to fix everything up. Okay, so it's up. Cause yeah, we got to make sure this coal line is going at maximum here. Otherwise, our steel production is just going to be kind of bad. Did I already get this one? I guess it musta. Let's see. I guess I'm just gonna climb the ladder on this one just to observe. Okay, looks like we've got to keep upgrading this one along the way. Anyway, it's a wonder, are you ready for PAX? Uh, we might as well get some of these answers out. Uh, I guess for those of you watching this on YouTube, I'm actually, I think, currently going to be at PAX when this video goes up. Uh, but yes, I am ready for PAX. Sort of? Sort of. Uh, I've, I've spent the last couple days preparing. Gotta make sure. Back isn't sitting in chat waiting for me. Uh, I spent the last couple of days preparing for it. I mean, honestly, the last week or so. And it's tough just because of the amount of, you know, content that I produce on my channel. Keeping up with that, along with all the new games, it's kind of incredibly rough. And so... I have almost everything together. I've got to render a couple more videos. I've got to... Uh, make sure my schedule is good. Probably queue up a number of things. And then probably, I don't know. I'm never done working. I guess that's the real answer. It's like, I, I will always need to do more. 
Several series are going to drop while I'm gone, but there's not much I can do about that. Okay, so we're supposed to be the upgrade on the whole line. Is that it? I think that's it, actually. Okay, so that should really empty this out a lot faster. And that should mean our, our steel production is going to go to at maximum rate after this. And it also means I can, uh, I can just take the line up. That is going to be hail of fast. Hey, this is satisfying. Let's see. So now that we've got this sorted, it still looks like we might need more. I'll have to see how it goes. Hopefully performance sticks around today. Ooh. Let's see if I can turn up the anti-aliasing a little bit more. Like, it's better, but it's not better. I uh, almost... Can I just reset these? Okay. Well, we don't want it to... We don't want stuff to be ultra. But, like, I'm also not sure if having anything on low actually made much of a difference. In fact, I think that might have actually been better on my CPU. No, it's about the same. Alright, whatever. I guess I'm just going to err on the side of beauty. Until it becomes very clearly a bad move. I almost wonder if I, like, started early or something like that. You check the efficiency of the coal thing. Uh, so there's no coal thing. It's a truck line that... I'm gonna turn down the sound effects a little bit. Let's see. Options, controls. You do not want to do hold to sprint. That murders my pinkies. Let's see. So, Avac has a sugar cube factory, factory uh, depot. That is feeding the coal. It looks like it's backing up a little bit more. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Let's see. But yeah, so he's got a sugar cube depot here. That's spitting the coal. It looks like it's still filling out though. So we're probably fine. I'm also not sure if I'd want to really micromanage that. Okay, so where's my hub? Over here. Oh, did we ever tear up the uh, the bioreactors? Okay, so we want to just clear that out. What's that leave me? A whole lot of uh, inventory space. Or, well... I guess it snags a whole lot of inventory space. So what can we research? We could get walkways right off the bat. And there's also improved melee combat, which we lack, actually. Okay, well, let's let's do this one. We already had this. I'm not going to feel bad about researching this with a, without a vac present. Can I make any iron rods? I am pretty short, it looks like. Well, we can just snag iron off of, like, any of these lines. There we go. I wonder if they've updated anything since, uh, last week. Because this came out more or less a week ago. Probably not. Okay, so that'll get us walkways. Milestone reached. After medical consultation, additional buildings aimed at factory traversal have been added. Walkways can now be accessed in the build menu. Okay, so it looks like the, the coal and the iron are backing up. 
Let's see, so where's Vivek? Sleeping on the job? Uh, eating on the job. And... I... Normally I wouldn't start without him, but today I... Well, today, because of my trip, I more or less need to start immediately. Uh... And so I figured I'd get some of the pointless busy work done. While I wait for him and she lab to pop in. I hope it's not a problem. I'm not really doing anything except for making sure that the steel line actually is pumping steel. Because the sooner we can get T3 belts on all of these, uh, the sooner we can do some more interesting things. Not like I'm doing anything exciting without him. I guess I should probably queue up that next research. Because effectively, what we need to do today, uh, apart from, you know, go over, like, efficiency ratings and whatnot, A walkway is we need to go adventuring. That is that is like our main and only go goal for today. Wow, a vac is one hell of a lens flare. Wonder if I can like bla uh, zap him to death before he joins the game and what that would do. Okay, so we gotta find iron rod production. Probably around here somewhere. That's just spare screws. It's probably one of these. That's iron plates. Pretty sure all of these are iron plates. Okay, iron rods are over here. What else do I have in my inventory that I probably don't need? Lots of things. The other critters to fight, like in Factorio. Sort of. There are spiders and some other things that you can run into. I guess they're both hanging out in the lounge. I'm gonna pop up and see if they're just waiting for me. Or what the plan is. No, they're they they're probably aware that I am here. I'm gonna pop up anyway. You guys still getting prepped? Hey, mate. Hey, uh. Yo. Yeah, just working through the uh, audio stuff right now. Okay, cool. I, uh, I guess I've already started just because of my scheduling problems, but I'm just waiting for steel. So pop down to recording whenever you're ready. Sure, we'll do, mate. Perfect. Cool. Oh. I was just gonna say, uh, I was just gonna say we're gonna need to see if Shelab's on friends list or anything like that for. Oh yeah, sure. Uh, I'll see if I can. Is it just Shelab? Well, there's probably only one Shelab. I'll go looking. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna have to do this in. Okay, we'll pop down into recording as soon as we've got all Perfect. of that sorted. Then. Okay, guess I gotta go make a new friend. Uh, let's see, add a friend. Let's add a friend... Suggestion. I've sent a re request to SheLab. I'm sure that's the wrong one. Well, we'll see. Anyway, uh, I'll get that. I'll get that sorted for for next time for sure. Or not next time. As soon as they're ready. Cause like I'm not I'm not in any immediate rushes. But I do want to get this walkway set up. I was really hoping I could like click. Ah. Uh, oh. I didn't know you could put walkways there like that. That's that's a weird system. Oh, this reminds me. Avak was trying to get a uh, bounce pad set up going. Well, hopefully this doesn't interfere. I I wanted to build some walkways as a as a test. I'm just killing time doing whatever. I think I'm gonna be... Yep, we're gonna have some, like, errant walkways 
down and around. Luckily, since all resources are infinite, it's kind of just like, oh, well, I goof. Oh, well. Get rid of that. Now, supposedly... According to somebody, you could actually... Oh, no, it's probably... Stack pull? No. Somebody was saying that you could actually have... Like, belts and stuff connected to... Walkways. Maybe only standard, like, straight ones? Doesn't look like it does... Edges of any variety. Let's see. Am I all packed and ready for packs? Nope! Haven't packed at all! But then again, I almost never have to pack anything. Just like... Enough underwear to last me for the trip. A clean pair of pants. That I'll probably just re-wear for the whole week, because I never get them particularly dirty or stinky. And then like, shirts and socks. Like, I'm super not ready for, for trips, generally, whenever I go on them. It's just a matter of, like, you don't need to be, especially because I'm going to be staying with my parents. Like, I don't, I don't even need to bring a full change of clothes. I can be like, Mom, I need, like, my clothes washed, like, halfway through this trip because I had to jam it all into two backpacks. Because effectively, I'm bringing my small Astroneer backpack and my slightly larger backpack meant for... Uh, my slightly larger backpack meant for, uh, you know, long trips. It's got space, but it's probably mostly going to be filled with recording equipment, to be totally honest. Tell me you're a pack you'll pack and use deodorant. Obviously! I- I forgot- I forgot to wear deodorant to one convention once, a long time ago. And I felt like the biggest asshole. I'm sure nobody could really smell me, but like by the end of the day, I could smell me and it wasn't great. And I was just like, you know what? I am, I'm going out of my way to like have several sets of deodorant on me at all times. What about like mouthwash and stuff? I'm staying with my parents. Like they're, they're pretty, I, like I still have my, admittedly it's like, I guess an older, uh, thing of mouthwash on the- and no, they've probably replaced it at this point. But no, they've- they've got, you know, pretty much all of the bare necessities. Okay, so now we've got a slide going down. Now, I just realized I built this for Americans, and I'm being joined by, well, at least one Welshman, and I actually don't know about Shelab. Okay, so now we have at least an express path down. Oh boy. That's pretty fast. Yeah, no, I, I don't know. I try very hard to keep acceptable nowadays. I guess previously I was always... Uh, you know, I was never going very far, so it wasn't like that big of a deal. Nowadays I'm like, no, yeah, I'm gonna be... I'm gonna be out and about all day. I have no idea what my... I have no idea when I'm going to be able to, you know, wash or, well, no, I, I always shower once a day. I, I guess that's part of it, is like, I very specifically keep pretty clean. This is a weird thing to talk about. Hey, Vac. Hello. Vac, are you a clean person? We're talking about cleanliness. Am I, 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 I like to think so. Uh, I, I, I like 
like my ducks in a row, if that counts for anything. You know, my 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 office tends to be clean, but I. I my office is not. It is filled with cardboard. Okay, okay. Actually, what what we'll do here? I am a clean person. I try to be a tidy person. Yeah. I don't always succeed on the second part, but I'm usually very successful on the first bit. My my main rule is nothing organic, like nothing that can rot anywhere here. It's like okay, oh, if yeah, I've got yeah. like a box that I've left here for like a week or two. It's like okay, whatever, who cares? But it's like <laughs> old plate with food food bits on it. No, get that out of here. No, no, that goes straight to the kitchen as soon as I'm finished. With the plate, if it even came into my office, which I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend I don't sometimes eat at my desk. I do, just not very often. I don't have a, uh, I don't have a dining table yet. Like that's one of the things we never had space for in the previous place. So it's just like, where do we eat? Uh, on the stairs or at my computer desk? So yeah, I eat in here a lot. I should probably stop. But... Good evening. Hello. Uh, Wonderbots, I, I need you to be a friend with me right. on... Right. Uh... I, I realized it's like, you might not just be... Are you just Lady Shelab, or...? I am Lady Shelab on Epic, yeah. Whereas okay. I'm just Shelab on Steam, so it's a bit confusing. Yeah, because I, I think I knew you were Shelab yeah, on Steam, are. so I just sent a request off to Shelab, and I'm like, you know, that's probably <laughs> wrong, but, like, this takes no time, so it's not a big deal. Some yeah, random person I feels a little bit more popular right. now. Let's see if I can join you now. Okay. Uh, I'll need an invite onto the game. Okay. I'll send it's strange. one on both. Like, it, it's pretty cool. There's no passwords or anything. Once you've been invited to the game, you can just keep rejoining, but you have to be invited within that session for you to be Aww. able to join. I do like okay, Do I need the game running before I can be invited? Or is it, it says oh, yeah, your yeah. friend's not playing satisfactory. I also don't what? see Avac at all. I promise I am in the game. I'm looking at it right now. Damn game. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah. Yes, yeah. My my invites list currently is Lady Shelab, uh, online but not playing satisfactory. Yeah, because on Steam sometimes it wants to pull you into the game, uh, from out of the game as an invite, and sometimes you have to be in the game first. So I wanted to check which one it was. Okay. So well, I'm in there I've now. Hmm. You and. Uh, let's see, manage players, session type, friend, friends only. There we go. I think I had it uh, set to the wrong session. Uh, Evac, you want to see if you can join? Uh, yep, now? yep, I can join now. Okay, because okay. yeah, I, I straight up can't see you on the invite screen. I only have SheLab at this point. But it looks like you're in no problem. There Let's we see. go. So for my audience, I will do the usual, uh, I guess, a vac warning that uh, now that I'm playing multiplayer, I will not be responding to chat as much as usual. I try and read it. I will try and type some things, but it won't always work. But I do see it. Thank you. Wait. Full shift R, you enter ragdoll mode. What? What? Dude, what? there's a ragdoll mode. Ow. Okay, well, that <laughs> sounds very interesting, actually. Okay. okay. Uh, let, let me know when you're in and recording and good to go, and we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do some ragfalls. <laughs> We're just going to be throwing ourselves down the slope, aren't we? I, yeah. The I'm first gonna go five minutes of this, yep. I'm going to go make a tilted jump pad into the void, and we'll... <laughs> We'll have some fun I can it. see you coming up here with this this jump pad now. <laughs> oh, that's right. Wow. I need to get back to the jump pad down the bottom. Ah, oh, man. Same All right, Sheila, are you in? Ah, oh, there you go. Yes, are. I, I am. You. I'm looking at everything that you're doing. It's cool. Yes. All right. I, I guess I apologize for extending the invite when we were virtually done with this game. Well, not really, actually. Today's <laughs> adventuring day, probably. Yeah, well, no, spend, today's cool. I spent three hours on here earlier, and I learned to do... I got my hub up to level five, and learned to do conveyors, and I learned to do um, constructors, and all that stuff, and layout power lines, and all that malarkey. Well, I would say that you're probably perfectly prepared then. And you've played, like, a silly amount of Factory Town, and probably Satis... Oh, not Satisfactory, uh, Factorio. Factorio as well, I've done yeah. some of that, yeah. Goodbye, Cruel World! So, so yeah, I, I might... 
I'm not entirely sure what nope. I can do to help right now, uh, because I don't really know how things are laid out. I'm gonna go take a look at your okay. hub. Okay, so it's, uh, see, the hub has all but one tech researched. We do need to find a bunch of stuff and put it into the MAM today, because apparently there's a lot of tech to research. Oh, right. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Like, people have been yelling at me, just like, go find, like, this random resource and jam it into the MAM, and it'll get you, like, all this tech that you've never heard about, and I'm like, oh. Okay, yeah, that does actually sound kind of important. Uh, let's see. So, basic rundown of the base is we've got a giant ramp leading up to the actual, like, industry stuff. The first layer okay. is... The first layer is all iron-related products. What? Uh, uh -huh. So, all the smelters are in a row, followed by all the constructors. And then a sec wow. second row of, row of constructors for, like, screws and stuff. Uh, and then, like... Kind of some assemblers for the really advanced bits. And then the top floor on the right is copper, middle is uh, concrete, and then left is steel for now. And I think I'm wow. still suffering a little bit from your glitchy cheats okay. from earlier, Wanda. I just oh. went to pick up my my death crate. It is full of Xenozappers. <laughs> Completely full. The, the, the spaces that were not taken up in the inventory by actual things, Xenozappers. Just all of them. All the Xenozappers, all the time. The sad part about ragdolling... Oh! Wow, I landed right next to you. The sad part about ragdolling is it kills all of your forward momentum. Wow. I see. <laughs> uh, yes. Why are there so I well, don't even. If we ever run out of Xenozappers... We've got a crate full of them, just over there. It's fine. It's like an armory. Looks like... Wait, did we run out of power? I um, heard things powering down, and everything yeah. is flashing red on the iron bit now. Did, oh! Did you trip out the power grid? Yeah, it looks like... Uh, it looks like we've actually gone above production. Uh, that's kind of impressive. More power plants! Yep. Uh, let's see. I got... Okay, cool. Are my sugar cubes still working? I hope they are. Okay, just to let my chat know, because I've only just um, started broadcasting the stream, I probably won't be reading out follows and subscriptions and things like that as much as usual, because um, this is all if being recorded. If we all recorded. do that, it becomes a problem. Yeah, and there's yes. just too many people. So, um, I'm not ignoring you. I, I love you all, but I can't read everything out. Wish I could. Yep, same goes for me, obviously. You probably didn't need me to say it, but I'm saying it anyway, because I can't feel left out. So there. <laughs> so you got assemblers as well. I only got as far as doing um, oh, storage containers. Okay, okay, cool. Constructor. Right, I've got, yeah, I've got as far as, like, constructors and uh, smelters and things like that. But yes, that is. this is extremely spaghetti. So this is all iron down here. I'm loving how clear the sky is right now. You can really see that moon over there. Yeah, it's a nice moon. I like the I like how they light the clouds too in this. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Then it's it's not quite clouds. volumetric, but it it it's got a touch of the uh, touch of that. Uh, I'm pretty sure to it's it. just. I'm pretty sure it's just a 2D texture that they're. Yeah. I mean, honestly, it looks like they just went out and took pictures of the sky, but they picked some pretty good oh. pictures. Yeah, it's it's definitely not actually volumetric. It's just it's just fun with shaders, but it it creates a nice effect. But that planet over there, that red planet, oh, I'm wondering if we're going to be visiting different worlds. Like, I yep. wonder if you can move between worlds within game. That is. Yeah, because it's the, you're going towards making like a, a shuttle to get off the world, aren't you? That's like the space elevator or whatever it is. Maybe. I, um, I actually maybe. don't know. I think so. I mean, that's what it was saying in the tutorial. Oh, okay. I guess you were no. paying more attention than we were. <laughs> no, I feel suddenly very bad for not reading things. I, I was, was like, damn. I was, uh, yeah, I was just going through it earlier on and... and hey, it's Doc Um Hello. Yeah, I was going through it earlier on and it was basically like, yeah, you make your hub and then... And then if you just look on the hub, you can see like, that's the next stages, isn't it? 